So there are lots of Unix com commands uh, that uh, Perl actually has its own implementation, and here's a table for uh, uh, some of them. And there, this is a table, so uh, in this column you will see the Unix command, this is the relevant DOS command, if it's available at all, and uh, this is the command in uh, Perl, the function in Perl, and the parameters in Perl. So unlink in Perl is the same as remove in Unix or dal in, in DOS. It will get a file name and remove a file. Uh, it's called unlink because it actually removes a hard link, but that's most of most of uh, most of the cases it doesn't really matter for us. Rename is is same as move or or run in DOS, uh, though it it only works in the f in the same uh, only in the same file system. Change mode is changes it likes change mode in Unix, uh, except that it doesn't it only accepts uh, mode numbers. Change owner it accepts UID and group ID and the file name it's like change owner. Change dir uh, the program you launch has a current working directory and change dir can change that just as CD does in both cases. Make dir create a directory remove dir remove one but there's no recursive removing uh, directories. Uh, link will create a hard link it's like ln in Unix. Symlink will create a symbolic link. It's like ln minus s in Unix. Uh, neither of them is relevant in Windows or DOS. I'm calling here. If you don't know what the symbolic link or hard link is, that you don't care about it. You don't. You won't need it. Read link is the thing that reads the content of of a symbolic link. That normally with ls in Unix, you would just type ls minus l, and what you see on the right hand side of the arrow, that's the content of the of the symbolic link. Glob can get white cards like uh, star.txt uh, for example and it will return the names of the files with that that match that white card. Uh, just it's like it's quite similar to ls-1 on Unix or just dear in Windows. I see many people um, new especially to Perl or coming from uh, um, shell who would rather run who would run system and within with the system you would execute the external Unix command uh, while it's much e nicer and much easier to do the internal Perl. So that's globe fetching the list of files uh, based on some white card. Open dir and read dir uh, allow us to read the content of the directory, all the elements. So it's 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 a bit similar to what globe does in the end. Uh, that's why I, I put here ls-1. Then there are the environment variables in Unix and also in DOS. You can access them via the env hash. So for example the home environment variable would be available like this.